making a Stuart model steam plant part 72, the gas pipe connections. The gas burner is on its mounting, all I need now to raise some steam is a gas supply. You can see the Venturi which is the inlet to the gas burner and this is the gas jet, it's a number 12 gas jet and this should work well if it's in the correct position. In a previous episode in this series, I tested the gas burner with this number 12 jet. The position of the jet in the Venturi tube is very critical. If you would like to see more details about setting up the gas burner, please re-watch episode 56 of this series. The gas jet holder is silver soldered to a really long piece of copper pipe. This is far too long and absolutely no good for what I need it to do. I've made a mark on the copper pipe using a felt tip pen and here using my pipe bender I'm bending it at a 90 degree angle. There are many different ways of connecting the gas supply to this pipe which in turn feeds the gas burner. I normally use a piece of silicone rubber tubing on an adapter and here I'm making such an adapter to fit a piece of silicone rubber tubing on to demonstrate the principle. However, from a health and safety point of view, I'm going to make a solid silver soldered pipe connection that will be fitted with union cones and union nuts at each end. At one end, the union will fit to the gas tap, which in turn fits on top of the gas canister, and at the other end, it will fit to the pipe on its way to the gas burner. I will of course test the gas supply with the silver soldered pipe arrangement but for convenience I normally use silicone rubber tubing. On screen you've been watching me make the silicone rubber tubing adapter. Here I've turned it round in the chuck and I'm drilling it to tapping size for quarter by 40 threads per inch and now I'm tapping it quarter by 40 threads per inch. It's a very simple part and in no time at all here it is on the bench. The two shallow grooves are not just for decoration purposes, they help to hold the silicone rubber tubing in position and prevent any leakage. I don't just want things suspended from the pipe, so I'm making a bracket, and here is the embryo of the bracket, it's going to look a lot better than this when I've finished it. Once I got the basic shape of the bracket, I made a mark on it and drilled a hole in this position. Once again using a felt tip pen, I'm roughly marking out the shape that I'm going to cut this to because I don't just want it to be square and sharp edged, I want it to be quite smooth. The next part to make is the fitting that will be silver soldered to the gas pipe, which is already silver soldered to the gas jet holder. I've turned part of this hexagon bar down to a diameter of a quarter of an inch, but it's a bit tight. I've also drilled a deep centre hole in the end, and this will be where the union comb fits. In this clip I'm taking the final cut and it's really fine. So this part is now just under a quarter of an inch in diameter which makes it an easy fit in the hole. It's not a rattle fit, it's actually a perfect fit in the hole. What I need to do now is thread the end of it. For this I'm using a tailstock die holder and I'm doing it on the power. Which means in no time at all the thread is completed and all I need to do is part off the finished component. I need to make quite a shallow nut to hold this component that I've just parted off in place on the bracket. At this stage I do have two choices, I can either drill the hole, tapping size for quarter by 40 and thread the part, but I prefer to just remachine a commercial union nut and here it is, I've machined one end of it off and it's a perfect nut to fit on the part. What I'm doing here is making sure that the thread is long enough to go all the way into the adapter I made for the silicone rubber tubing. And this seems to be okay. I really don't want to labour this episode too much. Here you get the general idea of what the part's going to look like. And for the beginners, I always like to include plenty of detail. If you need to know more about how to fit a gas jet to a gas burner, please watch episode 56. The temperature outside today is about 40 degrees and that's very warm. But in the workshop with my air conditioning unit, it's nice and cool. And because of the coolness in the workshop, I was not dehydrating very much at all. 
and that's why I tip the second part of the bottle of water into the reservoir and here I'm pumping it into the boiler. This hand pump that I'm using is good. It has quite a large ram and the water soon leaves the reservoir and goes into the boiler. In this final clip you can see that right at the bottom of the water gauge, just above the bottom nut, the water has appeared. In the next episode I intend to complete the gas fittings and then give the boiler a gas fired steam test. And until then, stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my main steam models website and click on the section of the website that says video playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.